this is going to be a fantastic chapter for you to really understand how Teradata works. And here we can see in our first slide, all tables are spread across all amps. And that's rule number one. When you first create a table, a table header is created with the table name, all the columns and the primary index and their data types. And then that is copied onto every single AMP instantaneously. Then when data is loaded, Teradata loads those in blocks on those AMPs. And that is what I want you to notice here. The table header and the data blocks are stored separately on every AMP. That's cold hard fact number two. When data is about to be loaded, each AMP, it opens a little data block and the rows are placed inside that and then it adds more to that data block and rows are placed inside that. Every single row is stored inside a data block. Nothing happens on disk but cold stories. They can't even read that data. Every time a block is going to be read, inserted, updated, or deleted, they move that block into the AMP's memory. This is called FSG cache, File System Generating Cache. And that's where all processing is done. And that's what I want you to understand now. That's the Achilles heel of every system. It just seems like it takes forever to get that block off a disk. And then like lightning, it is processed in memory. That's a very cold hard fact that you really need to focus on. Let's make this point perfectly clear. We've got our data rows down there. They're ready to be read, but the amps are all saying, come to me, come into my memory so I can see you. Oh, once it gets there, you look so good. But until it gets there, they can see nothing on that disk. So understand, it's all about block movement, and we're going to focus on that in our cold hard facts. The parsing engine told each one of these amps, read your data blocks, and each one of them said, doot, 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 bring it off the disk into memory, and then lightning, we can read it. That's the way it always works. Make no mistake about that. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you need a query tool that has a join builder or can analyze data without clogging up a system? How about cross-system capabilities? And the ability to compress data saving a company millions? Well, then the Nexus is the query tool for you. The Nexus. Let's query the future. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.